Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So we have decided we're gonna try and get these guys on early for you. This is Sugar's litter of puppies. Sugar is also nursing a little, I'm not gonna touch him or he's gonna want me to feed him. She's nursing a little Schnauzer puppy that was born about two days after hers were. So uh, his siblings were so much bigger than her that we decided to put him in Sugar. So for all practical purposes, Sugar's his mom right now. So he'll be in all of our videos and our pictures and that's where that family will go to watch him. So we'll do him last. So these guys are doing really good. Um, we have, Sugar's been doing great. She's been doing great with him. Uh, she took him just like it was one of hers. And they're doing, they're starting to get really fat. So, so far they're doing really good. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna give you weights and microchip numbers. Oh, I forgot I gotta turn it on. All right, so we are five, six, seven, two is the microchip number on this one. This is the black and white male. He's got really cool spots down his back. He's got a party going on on this side and not too much of a party going on on that side. He's got a really nice black butt. He's got his tail's been docked. This guy says, oh, I'm gonna stretch. Ah, big stretch. Uh, he's got dew claws are done, tail's done. Um, he's got a really pretty face. They all have nice blazes. And their ears, I know many of you have seen us do this, but their ears are, are closed completely shut at this age. That and his eyes, they will not open up till about 12 to 14 days old. So this is the black and white male. Oop, helps if I turn the scale on. They're gonna go, where is mom? This one, we put the little schnauzer down and he was trying to nurse off of his leg. 9.0 ounces as of today. So that's the black and white male. And everybody has big white bellies. Nobody in here has color on their bellies. This is the chocolate and white male. And his microchip number is 5670. And he's got really pretty markings on his back. He's got an all brown tail and he'll have a little bit of a white tuff on it once the rubber band comes off. Nice, nice markings on his face. He really has a pretty face. But there's the colors on that side. So his back, the two loops on the back kind of join in the middle and he's got a domino spot on his back. All right, let's see what you weigh. 10.8, he's big. I think he's the biggest one in the litter actually. All right, the other chocolate male is 56.73 and this guy has, uh, this one has a dot on his back and he's got a little bit of a, um, a black or brown on his butt and a little bit of his tail will be all brown when the rubber band comes off. He's got a little tiny dot on his forehead. He's not gonna let me turn him. There's a dot right there on his forehead. He says, turn me up. And this whole litter will have brown noses. <clears throat> I, I should say the two browns will have brown noses. Everybody else's nose will turn black. But uh, lots of times party puppies are born with a pink nose. You can already see this one's filling in a little bit. All right, so let's see what he weighs. This one is 8.8 .8 ounces as of today. Let me lean over here and grab this. And, all right, let me shut this down just a little bit. I know, I hear you squawking. All right, so these are the females. This is a black and white female. She's got really pretty spots down her back. She's pretty much got an all. Somebody told me that they thought one of these guys Somebody had a heart on their back, but I don't remember. I don't remember who it was, but I don't have not seen a heart on their back. Might have shown up a little bit better than that when they were really, really new. But she's got all white belly. She's going to have a white tail with a little bit of black at the top. And her dew claws have been removed also, and her nose will turn black. It's just starting to get a little bit of speckles on it. She's 7.8 ounces as of today. All right, let me scoot you guys up here where you stay together. This little sleeping beauty, she says, just let me sleep. Can I just go to sleep? She's got black and white mask, but it's really cool. The back of her ears are white. The bottom half of, not quite the half on the other one. The bottom half of this one is white. The bottom of this one has pink on it, which will be white. She says, quit moving me. 
She's gonna have a black nose and she's got one big spot there and she's got spots on her right above her tail. I know you want me to put you down. Hold on, hold on. Eight, nope, nine ounces on the button. I know that's really cold, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, nope, you stay right here. They're just about due to get their toenails cut. Not quite. They use those as babies, they have to push themselves around with their feet. So if we take them off too short, they can't, they kind of slide around. Where are you going, little, little man? All right. No, don't go wake him up. Don't go wake him up. All right. This is the last female. And she is microchip 5671. She's got a white tail. She's got big, bold black spots on both sides. She's got a little bit of black right behind her ear. And a couple of these look like they're getting some ticking on them, which means there might be little black spots show up on their back. I can't tell yet if it's ticking. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a ticking spot. There's black hairs right there. So she's gonna have a little bit of ticking on her. This one is too. There's a little bit of black hairs right in here. They may show up older, and they may not as she gets older. But she has a really pretty little apple head face with a nice little tiny uh, blaze up her face. She squawks. She says, put me down. All right, 8.4 ounces today. I know it, I know it. He went back. All right, once I touch him, he's gonna go like, where's, the, where's something to eat? I've been bottle feeding him a little bit. His siblings are almost twice as big as this puppy. So we knew he would never make it. So we put him in this litter. I have not microchipped him yet. I've already told the family that it's just, no, I just can't chip him yet. He's too little. So he's really doing good. He's got really pretty merling. The part that you see, now he's gonna look at my fingers. He says, where's the bottle, mom? He says, I know that's you. <laughs> He says, I know. We haven't bottle fed him yet today, and he's got a really nice big belly on him. And uh, he's got a white chest, white collar underneath. He says, I don't wanna hold still. There's his, a good face shot. And his ears are pretty easy to see. They're really, really tiny, but he's got lots of room to see those ears are locked and closed. He's got nice color all the way around, big spot on his neck. And the rest of the litter you won't see come up on the internet for a while because we're keeping the litter. Um, so that's the only reason this guy's here. Plus, he is so much smaller than the rest of his siblings. So everybody in here is doing great. And like I said, you'll see him right along with them and all their pictures. His pictures will be on her website, um, even though he's a schnauzer. But that's the only way it, can make it makes it easy for them to be able to see him and uh, watch. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know I've already talked to the person that's the first pick on the litter. So once they decide which one they want, um, I will mark it sold with their name on it and I will call each person on the list when it's your turn to take a pick. So uh, if you have any questions about these guys, you'll be able to reach me today and uh, I will be available tomorrow too after church if you have questions and wanna know something about them. But they're doing good. Um, I've already booked him into the vet. I forgot to write it down. So um, I'll put it on the website. I'll probably have to call her on Monday and uh, get it back from them. But they'll be going home. I don't know that they're going to go home by Christmas or not, but we'll take a look at the dates. Um, it's iffy. So have a good one. I hope you have a safe one. And I hope you enjoyed their video. And we'll talk to you later.